Live. Tonight is opening night of the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival. It will feature more than 200 films telling black stories from around the world. NBC4's Ted Chen on the red carpet tonight at the Writers Guild Theater in Beverly Hills. It's billed as the real story of the war in Ethiopia you don't know about. For the Love of the Motherland is said to be the biggest movie ever to come out of Ethiopia, a story of two lovers who wind up on the war's opposite ends by a director who dealt with the changing war as he was making it. When I thought it was finished and I started, you know, towards the climax of the film, another war broke out. So I had to stop and rewrite the script. For the Love of the Motherland is the centerpiece of the Pan-African Film Festival, featuring more than 200 films over the next two weeks, most of them being shown at the Cinemark Theaters at Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza. We have black comedies. We have uh, black family films. The festival's director says for more than 30 years, the festival has been showcasing films about Africa and the African diaspora that you might not see anywhere else. The goal of the festival is to showcase the black experience the breadth and depth of global blackness uh, from around the world. This year's opening night film is a hip-hop story about a group of artists trying to save hip-hop. The cast includes Cedric the Entertainer and Wayne Brady. Rumor has it you're playing in a job. I need in. The closing night film is the Western Outlaw Posse, directed by and starring Mario Van Peebles and featuring Whoopi Goldberg. There's also an arts fest and a children's fest and a fashion show. Organizers say each part is designed to work together as a whole to fight negative stereotypes and give a more complete picture of the black experience. Back in the days, we had Alfre Woodard. We've had um, Ava DuVernay's first film. We've also had Denzel Washington come and speak on a film. A lot of times, uh, when you have a black story, it's seen as uh, a sprinkle on the top. But here at Pan African Film Festival, and what we're trying to do is to center the black experience. And we are live on the red carpet of the Pan African Film Festival, and uh, a few stars have already arrived. We are waiting for stars like Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence and Tiffany Haddish and Denny Glover and Snoop Dogg and the Wayans Brothers. All are here for the opening night of the Pan African Film Festival, scheduled to start any moment now. This is the first night, the opening night, leading up to two weeks of films, more than 200 films that are part of this festival. Reporting live from Beverly Hills, Ted Chen, NBC4 News, back to Universal City.